Hi guys, welcome back to your channel technical file guys in this video we'll see how to install cPanel on a CentOS Linux based server like the same way we installed Plesk in the previous video using a command line interface is pretty simple as compared to the marketplace third party script because it's clean we can easily see what we are installing what's the script what's the command processing on our server so if we are familiar with the commands it is very easy and simple and very less time consuming so without wasting any time let's get Started. I have already ready a fresh server with Ant OS 7 installed on that server. So what we need to do is simply copy and follow all the instructions from this post. I'll provide the link in the description of this video. So the step one is we need to set the fully qualified domain name as our standard host name. So we can ignore this step if we already have a standard host name. If we already have a standard host name like this something dot domain dot com, but we can check using this command. So copy the command from here and paste it here. So right now the static host name is technical style uh, we need to change i am typing the command you can copy So that's our hostname now. So now we need to disable these two things, network manager. Basically, this is the one thing. There are two commands to disable this thing. First, we need to run this command. And second, we need to run this command. After that, it's an optional thing. We need to check and update so that the changes we have made will not reflect this. Press Y and enter. Now this is the command we need to run to download and install all the packages related to cPanel. Now it will take some time, uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes depending upon the server speed. So till then I am fast forwarding this video. so guys our cpanel has been installed now we just need to copy this link from here and open it into our browser we need to check the security warning and proceed to unsafe here we need to log in as our root credentials of the server Here we need to click agree to all and we need to log in into our into their cPanel store at here we will create a new account uh, email I am going with the temporary email because I have already used all my working emails so create an account validation link has been sent. We need to open this link. and we need to create the new password now we have created the password so we need to click allow access Now click server setup. Email, I can use the same email. And name servers. I am going with these default name servers. So as you can see we have installed the cPanel and WHM and activated the 15 day of free trial license successfully. So in this way we, we can install cPanel in a cleanest way by just 4 or 5 commands. So that's it. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.